Marina, Daniela, Juanita, Bermúdez, Carolina, Puerto Rico, Reo de start with this. Well, I'm sure that most of you have heard by now that the melee that ensued at what was supposed to be the Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Logan Paul face-off, it ended up being about Jake Paul. As most things these days end up being about Jake instead of Logan, his older brother. It's kind of like Logan's the little brother. Jake's the attraction. Jake is the center of attention. It's almost like the higher-ups knew that Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Logan Paul, that's a tough sell, whether it's on Fanmio or Showtime. It's a tough sell, and, and they needed something to spice it up, so they used the other Paul brother, the more popular one, Jake. Some people think all of this was orchestrated. Some people think it was staged, and to some degree we know that it is because, you know... Jake showed it. Jake Paul via his TikTok account. You know, he showed everybody that, that he was, you know, setting it all up. He was going to try to snatch... Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s cap, and, and, you know, by now you've seen the video, it's everywhere. That's what got the whole ball rolling, that's what got the whole thing started. I got a lot of thoughts on this thing I do. Key notes, I don't know if all of this was set up, I don't know that it wasn't, I don't know that the entire melee was staged, or just the bit of it that Jake Paul showed us by way of his TikTok account, that he intended to snatch Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s cap. I don't know how much of this was staged, but the key note here is that this is not a good look for Floyd Mayweather Jr. No. Nope. It's just not. It's embarrassing. Because when you hang around clowns for too long, you might start to look like one. Floyd Mayweather Jr. was in his 40s. Jake Paul felt ballsy enough to play Salucci with your head. He's playing keep away with the cap of one of the most highly skilled boxers the sport has ever seen. You want to pay attention to that because that's important. That whether this was staged or it wasn't staged, how does it look that some rich kid YouTuber snatches the cap off of one of the best professional boxers the sport has ever seen? Right. He actually has the nerve, the audacity to do this, and yes, a melee ensues. Jake got hemmed up. He took some lumps, but better still, he actually had the gall, the nerve, to snatch the cap off of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Not a good look for Floyd. Whether this was staged or not. Maybe it wasn't staged. Maybe it was real. Or maybe it was staged, and the end game was to make people believe that it was real. The end result is the same. People are interpreting this as Floyd Mayweather Jr. getting punked <gasps> by a YouTuber. Getting disrespected. People are laughing at Floyd. And they're laughing at Jake, too. They're laughing at the shellacking that he got once the melee ensued. But, but Jake, Jake's just a troll. He's just some internet idiot. He's not one of the best boxers the sport has ever seen. He's not someone who's held in high esteem and high regard. By, by professional boxers, you understand, so it is different, you know. Mixed martial artist Conor McGregor, he had this to say, he said, What the fuck is Floyd at? The kid curled up, didn't fight back once, and Floyd is still running around acting like the tough guy. The kid actually just pulled this shambles of a situation Floyd is in out from the drain for him. He should thank him. It's embarrassing. Pro to pro, it's embarrassing. He will not scratch 10 million for this fight, and he knows it. It was canceled once already. The world is watching this on Twitter. He'd fight a half-decent pro and command 20 million upwards. Yet it's this shit. Whatever way you spin this, it's sad. Fight someone for real. On your record, or fuck off, mate. Slaphead. Buncey over there in the United Kingdom, Steve Buncey, had this to say. He said, Floyd Mayweather Jr. pays a lot of very big men a lot of money to look tough, act tough, and he's been paying them without a skirmish for a decade. Today, a surfer, novice boxer, and YouTube lunatic stole his baseball cap, got away with it. Jake Paul strikes again. Floyd, sack them all. Shit is embarrassing, man. Don't try to tell me it isn't. Don't try to tell me how much of a genius Floyd Mayweather Jr. is 
for promoting this fight unless you intend to buy it. Does this skirmish, does this melee that took place earlier today, does it sway you to buy Mayweather versus Paul? Because unless it does, then there aren't any promotional geniuses here. They're not going to get my fucking money with this bullshit. Are they going to get yours? You saw a 40-some-odd-year-old Floyd Mayweather lunging at a YouTuber to get his baseball cap back. Did that make you want to reach for your wallet and buy Mayweather Jr. versus Logan Paul? I mean, I know that the melee was all about Jake, but better still, if this is all promotion, then it would be the Logan Paul fight that they're trying to sell, the Logan Paul fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Did any of this stuff that happened, did it make you want, you know, reach for your wallet, order the pay-per-view? Because unless it did, there are no geniuses here. If all of this was promotion. If all of this was staged like so many episodes of WWE SmackDown, if that's what all of this was. Did any of what took place make you want to buy the Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Logan Paul pay-per-view? Because unless it did, as far as marketing goes and marketing strategies, they failed. <laughs> no, it doesn't make me want to buy the fucking pay-per-view. I don't know about you. Now, you're going to get a lot of Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s apologists, that cult following of his. You're going to get a lot of those guys going up to bat for him saying, well, the end game is all of the money he stands to make from the fight. But how much money does he stand to make from the Logan Paul fight? How much? If people don't buy the pay-per-view, how much money does he stand to make? How is it a success? Which brings me back to my original question. Did any of this stuff that took place earlier today, any of the stuff that happened, did it make you want to reach for your wallet and buy the fight? Because unless it did, it's all for nothing. The most it did was raise awareness of the fight, but we already knew this was going down. We already knew this was going to happen. It didn't entice me to buy the fight. I don't know if it enticed any of you to buy it, but... I'm not buying it, regardless of what happens. And in many ways, Jake stole Logan's thunder. Don't forget, this was supposed to be the face-off. This was supposed to be the presser for Floyd versus Logan, not Floyd versus Jake. All this did was take the attention off Logan. The justification for this entire circus is all of the money that Floyd and Logan and Jake stand to make. But I question how much money they stand to make when this event was postponed due to a lack of interest. That's what the reports show. Did you guys forget? This was originally supposed to go down on Fanmio, and the only difference between then and now is Jake has been injected into the situation to help sell it. And Showtime. I mean, nobody really was all that interested in Logan. You know, I remember... Logan's rise to notoriety. I remember the days of Vine and how it is he came to be where he is today. Today, he's overshadowed by his younger brother. Thus, he and Floyd, those two by themselves. That's a tough sell. It's an exhibition match. I'm not even sure Floyd Mayweather Jr. will be allowed to really tee off on Logan Paul the way people might want him to tee off on Logan Paul, even though it's not Logan Paul people want to see get beat up. It's Jake. He's got a... Charlie Zelenoff kind of deal going on, the way he's trolling mixed martial artists. All he did was borrow a page from Charlie Zelenoff's book and use it against mixed martial artists. Because that's who he's really trolling here, or who he's been trolling. And even interest in that is waning. I question how much money Jake actually made from that Ben Askren fight. I question how many pay-per-views that actually brought in when... In so many words, you have the people over there at Triller trying to scare people into paying for the pay-per-view after having seen it illegally. They're saying they're going to hand out hefty fines if people don't pay. <laughs> I do find that hard to believe. I think eventually the technology will exist that could track down illegal streams down to the household. I think one day, perhaps one day soon, that technology will will be implemented to prevent piracy, but here today I don't think that technology exists because if it did, surely Dana White would have gotten his hands on it before the people over there at Triller did. How long has he been trying to scare people into not watching illegal streams for his fights, for his cards, for his events? How long has he been doing that? Essentially what I'm getting at is, I don't know if Jake Paul versus Ben Askren did as well as it's reported to have done when here today you have the people there over at Triller applying the same scare tactics that we've been seeing Dana White apply for a while now. The appeal of Jake Paul moving forward is going to be the opportunity to see him get beat up. Beat up by someone who actually has a chance at beating him up. Not a YouTuber or a basketball player or a wrestler, but someone actually capable 
of, of hurting him. That's what the appeal is going to be moving forward because he's got the Charlie Zelenoff thing working for him. But that's only going to work for so long. Remember, you're asking people to pay to see what this guy does. The even bigger issue when it comes to Floyd is Floyd ain't fighting Jake in June. He's fighting Logan, his brother. His older brother who day by day seems to be Jake stole his thunder, man. The Paul brother of the Paul brothers that isn't as popular, that isn't the center of attention. Jake Paul's antics at today's face-off brought the focus over to him, took it away from Logan. Not that it was there to begin with, it wasn't. It would have been a rather uneventful face-off if not for the melee. Though even with the melee, did all of that stuff that happened, does that make you want to buy Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Logan Paul? Oh what, now you gotta see it? This reeks of desperation, folks, it really does. I mean, Logan and Jake, these are the kinds of people that'll do anything to get seen, do anything to get famous. <laughs> They're in a separate lane, a separate category than someone like a Floyd Mayweather Jr. who fought his way to get to where he is today, who fought his way to notoriety. It's apples and oranges. Those two blonde mop tops would do anything for clout. Those two morons are a byproduct of the social media and selfie era. That's what they are. But Floyd? Floyd Mayweather Jr. is a retired boxer in his 40s who appears to be having a midlife crisis. How else can you explain the hair transplant? That's one. The struggle beard? That's two. Come on, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the pet work for this bug. Get, get Al Hamer. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't need Al Hamer. Let me call Al Hamer. I'm my own let's boss. I'm my own boss. Night. Got your hat. Does that seem at all dignified to you? 42-year-old retired boxer getting his cap taken from him by some young upstart, some talentless hack who got famous doing stupid stuff in front of a camera on YouTube. Does it seem at all distinguished? Does it seem at all dignified of Floyd Mayweather Jr. to find himself in the company of these kinds of people? Goes back to what I told you before. You hang around these kinds of clowns long enough and they're gonna confuse you for one of them. No, no, it's all promotion. Right, right. These guys, they're marketing geniuses. That's what they are, that's that's what this is. Marketing. Marketing. I'll tell you, marketing or not, this really isn't a good look for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Having to mix and mingle with these kinds of people, having had the kind of career that he's had, having had the kind of success that he's had as a distinguished professional boxer in the sport of pugilism. And one cannot make the argument that the ends justify the means when this is Logan Paul he's supposed to be taking on in June, not Jake. And when it comes to Logan Paul, the exhibition match with him ended up getting moved due to a distinct lack of interest. Did you notice how Floyd reacted when Jake brought up Al Heyman? Really similar of how Leonard Ellerbeet reacted when Mike Kopinger brought up Al Heyman a few weeks ago. Very defensive. I wonder what that relationship's like these days. So man, I don't care how you spin it. This is fucking embarrassing. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the pet work for this bug. Get, get Al Hammond. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me call Al Hammond. I'm my own Let's boss. Make it happen. I'm my own boss. One night. Got your hat. Oh. 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 Chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, Let's go. Let's go, baby. Got your hat. Respect me. Don't play with me. Got your hat. Got your hat. Don't disrespect me. Stop. 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 As stated, some people think that all of this is staged, and some people, they think it isn't. They think Jake Paul actually got away with punking Floyd Mayweather Jr. And you have to ask yourself why someone who's made the kind of money that Floyd has made, had the kind of career that Floyd has had, 
why is he surrounding himself with these kinds of people when you're not going to make fucking around with Jake Paul or Logan Paul, which you already made fucking around with Canelo, which you already made fucking around with Oscar, which you already made fucking around with Conroy McGregory. You're not going to get the payday with these YouTubers that you've already gotten with those other guys. And, and given what you've already gotten with those other guys, why are you still sniffing around for paydays, let alone with YouTubers? You surround yourself with those kinds of people those kinds of clowns, and you're gonna start to look like one. Jake Paul gets his ass beat by your security. What does that really do to him? He's a fucking idiot. He's an internet troll. Doesn't change anything for him, but you, you getting treated like that by some smarmy fucking YouTuber that's not giving you the respect a professional fighter is supposed to get. That's different. That's something else entirely. And that's why no matter how you slice it, whether this was marketing or something else entirely, it's not a good look for Floyd Mayweather Jr. And it's not going to result in more buys for the Logan Paul fight. Nobody was interested in that fight earlier this year, and they're not interested in it now. Getting Jake Paul involved, that just brings more attention to him and his brand. It's not the guy you're going to be sharing the ring with in June. You know, a while ago, 50 Cent. He said that Floyd Mayweather Jr. is broke. Not broke the way the common man is broke, but, you know, the overhead on his lifestyle. It's, it's, it's caught up to him. I haven't heard of Floyd Mayweather Jr. filing for bankruptcy. You have to wonder that over a year ago, when 50 Cent said these things, he wasn't onto something because, well, over a year later, in 2021, here we have a 42, 43-year-old Floyd Mayweather Jr. getting in melees with YouTubers for what's supposed to be a big payday? What about your fucking dignity? Is Floyd looking like a complete idiot? A part of the marketing strategy? Was that all part of the plan? He looks fucking stupid, man. I don't see Mike Tyson getting his hat took. Or Lennox Lewis, or Manny Pacquiao. I, I mean, I don't really see a lot of distinguished boxers that have had very accomplished careers in and of themselves. I don't see those guys getting treated the way that Floyd Mayweather Jr. just got treated by a fucking YouTuber. And even if the whole thing was marketing, it still has the same effect, still leaves the same impression, the audience at large. My, 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 how the mighty hath fallen. Yeah, man, he looks bad. I think given the kind of money that Floyd Mayweather Jr. has already made, he shouldn't have to resort to this kind of stuff, even if it is marketing. He shouldn't have to resort to these kinds of antics. It shouldn't be about selling fights anymore for Floyd Mayweather. And that's why I'm not even sure that this is marketing. I mean, maybe it's marketing from Jake Paul for his own benefit, but, but I'm not sure that, that the whole thing was staged. I think a lot of people want to believe it was staged. Because it is kind of cringeworthy. To see Floyd like this. No, no, but it's marketing, right? Well, that's what it is. So, so if Floyd looks stupid right now, I guess it's because he wants to look stupid right now.